Distribution Transformer Electricity plays a very important role in everyday life. All our appliances, equipments, computers, etc. work on electricity. For proper functioning of any of the equipments and to avoid damages, it is necessary to keep variation of electrical parameters under control. Transformer is a static device which transfers electrical power from one circuit to another without change of frequency. It raises or lowers the voltages with corresponding decrease or increase in the current respectively. It accomplishes these phenomena by electromagnetic induction where two electrical circuits are in mutual inductive influence with each other. In order to better understand the transformer, we have an animation of working of distribution transformer. In animation, we can see the parts of transformer which are used in construction of transformer. Transformers have two basic circuits. Magnetic circuit and electrical circuit. First, we will study about magnetic circuit, which consists of core construction. Core construction. Core is the arrangement of laminations. Laminations are made from high carbon steel or silicon steel, having 5% SI. To minimize eddy current losses, the core must be laminated and the lamination must be insulated from each other. Laminations are pressed and bolted and bolts are insulated from the sheets. Next is electrical circuit. Electrical circuit of transformer consists of windings. Transformer have two types of windings, primary windings and secondary windings. For small transformer, the winding coils can be rectangular and so rectangular core is easily built up. For large transformer, rectangular coils are wasteful and only circular coils are used. The coils may be concentric or sandwiched. In core type, the low voltage winding is nearest to the core. In shell type sandwich winding, the low voltage winding is outside the core. Generally, copper is used as winding material in transformers, but aluminium is also used in case of small rating transformers. Insulation which is used in transformer are manila paper, cloth, Synthetic resin bonded paper tubes, that is SRBP, teak or haldi wood, varnish, etc. One important thing to note here is that class of insulation is considered as per design for voltage per turn of winding and not on KVA rating. Parts of Distribution Transformer Now after completion of circuits, we will study about the different parts of a transformer. We will start with bushing. Different types of bushing are used according to voltage level of transformer. OIP bushing that is Oil and impregnated paper, porcelain bushing, condenser type oil filled bushing, resin impregnated bushing, silicon rubbed shed bushing, SF6 gas bushing, etc., are some of them. Ordinarily, porcelain insulator can be used up to 33 kV. For higher voltages, condenser type oil filled bushing is used foreign substances like dust moisture or metallic particles 
in oil tends to arrange themselves in radial lines under the influence of electric field. Next part that we will consider is tank. Transformer tank have two parts, main oil tank and conservator tank. Main tank. Main transformer tank is made up of low carbonic steel which is easily welded and has good mechanical properties like non-magnetism, rust proof etc. Transformer oil is filled in the transformer tank. Conservator tank. Conservator tank is also a part of transformer tank which is mounted on top and connected to the main oil tank. Its function is to ensure that the transformer tank is completely filled with oil at all the times. Transformer oil Pyrolol is a mixture of hydrocarbons which is used in transformer as transformer oil. Properties of transformer oil are low viscosity, high flash and fire point, good dielectric strength etc. Now we come to cooling fans. A certain amount of the electrical energy delivered to a transformer is transformed into heat energy because of the resistance of its windings and the hysteresis and eddy currents in the iron core. Means must be provided for removing this heat energy from the transformer and dissipating it into the surrounding air. If this were not done in a satisfactory manner, the transformer would operate at an excessively high temperature, which would destroy or harm the insulation of the transformer. Cooling fins are used for providing cooling in transformer and they are maintained at the temperature of the transformer.